Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more NHL 19 Failure Friday. I hope everyone is having a marvelous Friday. Remember that this is going to be one of the last Failure Fridays in NHL 19. We'll probably do a couple more, probably around two or three, four, something like that. I don't know exactly how many, only because I do want to start doing MLB and Madden, possibly. Uh, I know I have started MLB, but I do kind of want to try out Madden as well. So I, w I want to do more than just NHL for sure, because I really enjoy doing these. And to see some fails in other sports would be nice. So if you guys have any for Madden 20, make sure to submit those to Madden. Failure Friday at gmail.com. MLB is MLB Failure Friday at gmail.com. And NHL is would you believe it NHL failure Friday at gmail.com but I am closing submissions until NHL 20 for failure Friday for NHL so I will not be accepting any submissions until NHL 20 is released so if you send them they are probably not going to be used so I'm just going to let you guys know that now but that's enough for me let's go ahead and uh Take a look at our first submission, but I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit 200 likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead and hit that like button. Show that love and support and subscribe and join the Dorsal family and help us get closer to 100K before the end of the summer. All right, now we can take a look at our first submission. All right, so in this first submission, this guy not having a very good day with this celebration. Take a look. His uh, stick managed to leave his hand and go through what looks his eye. Uh, yeah, definitely probably a painful way to celebrate a goal. Uh, I hope he's okay. Definitely do not recommend doing that. All right, not sure how this defenseman uh, managed to do this, but take a look at what happens here. So he, this guy's got the puck, takes a shot, nice save, goes towards his defenseman so perfect works out great but what does he do here just passes it right on back to his goalie and into the back of the net not sure what he was trying to accomplish there I'm not even sure how this has happened because just take a look yeah I don't know what what that was I'm not I really don't have a good explanation for it very strange stuff to say the least that is for sure Pretty sure I say this every Failure Friday. I'm starting to sound like a broken record. But it wouldn't be a Failure Friday without a fight glitch. So take a look at this. So we got a fight going on. And look, so this one guy is going to do an animation that looks like he won the fight. But the fight was still going on. And the other guy celebrates as if he won. Look at that. How crazy is that? I just, just wow. So there's a lot going on in this clip, and I had to show it because as a guy that plays be a pro goalie a lot, I had to show just the stress this goalie was probably going through. But it's what happens at the end that is the true fail. Take a look at this. You have ice to pop, and so another face off. The Canadians win that face off. Let's it go. Had it away with authority. We get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. Tampa Bay's got two on this one for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the check. I mean, the poor guy couldn't even freeze the puck. And then luckily he gets brushed over the side. But how about his teammate absolutely launching that guy into... The oh my gosh. I, I thought he was going up into the... Uh, the rafters, like wow, dude just got absolutely launched on an attempt to block a shot, wow. All right, so this absolutely has to be Max Sliders in this next clip. I mean, everyone is just all over the place. Take a look at this. Steps across that line. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. I mean, just look at this clip. Like, just watch what happens. Like, what is this guy doing? What is making him fly like that? 
like, he goes to get up and just does this 360 in the air. I have no idea what what caused him to do such a thing. But, yeah, that ha there has to be some sliders that were manipulated in that clip. That is for sure. Quite possibly one of my favorite goals that I have ever seen here on Failure Friday. Take a look at this. Steps in from the neutral zone. In all alone. Pump check on the breakaway. Crashed into him in open ice. Score! They'll take it. It went off a defender and in it counts. He shoots it. Gets hit. And then just the goalie got some of it. But not all of it. I just absolutely love that. I thought that was phenomenal. Great clip. Great submission for sure. Oh, it is always the worst when stuff like this happens. Take a look at this clip. Got some Via Pro goalie going on here. And just off the post and then off his back. And it's just flipping around and then just gets knocked right in the back of the net you just gotta hate when stuff like that happens so this kind of sucks take a look at this now as far as i know this should be a good goal but i might be wrong so take a look so we got the puck here he's gonna pass it over the pass does not connect and this guy runs right into the goalie and the other player puts it in his own net and the goalie waves it off or the ref waves it off, excuse me. So, as far as I know, that should be a good goal because a member of the opposing team put it in his own net. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Either way, that does really suck that it didn't count because of goaltender interference. But, uh, yeah, definitely a uh, bummer that that did not count, whether I'm right or wrong. Now, it might definitely not be a good goal or it might... It should be a good goal, but I really am not 100% sure. I, I cannot tell you, but yeah. I, I can't quite remember, but I want to say that it is a good goal. So this is quite the funny own goal. Take a look at this one. This one really sucks. Not sure if this one should count either or not. I don't think it should, but look at this. So this guy ends up getting tripped, and that makes him put it in his own net. Not sure why he was even going that way, but yeah, that was um, quite odd. Quite an odd clip there, to say the least. But um, yeah, I, I think that goal shouldn't count because he got tripped. But yeah, I, I don't, I definitely do not know. But uh, well, actually, no, I don't think it should because I think the trip interfered with him putting it in his own net, but I don't know. All right, so this has to be one of the strangest injuries I have ever seen in Failure Friday. This one was quite the weird one, guys, I definitely have to say. So take a look at this. So this guy just goes down for what looks like no reason. Doesn't look like anyone hit him. And then watch. And we're frozen. Just stays there. I guess he's hurt that bad. He can't even move. Not quite sure what happened there, what made him just not able to move. But yes, yeah, some very strange stuff, guys, to say the least. Absolutely. But that is going to do it for this week's edition for, of Failure Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, I have been getting very strict with the submissions for, uh, for Failure Friday. So I, I think I went through like close to 50 for this week and yeah as you can see only a few were chosen but um but yeah it was somewhere around there it was probably less maybe more in the 40s but um but still yeah i only chose a few i just i've had to start getting stricter because of you know how many i still have to go through and you know we are running out of time as we're nearing uh the uh the premiere of nhl 20 failure friday so i'm probably going to skip it for the first week so we can get some submissions and then the next week we'll start it but but yeah but anyway not sure what the schedule is for this weekend i'm not sure what i'm going to get up i definitely plan to do an eagles franchise and hopefully a phillies franchise uh might throw in an expansion franchise uh with our nordiques because we haven't done one of those in a while maybe even a be a pro but um 
But yes, we shall see what happens. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.